Well, it's been a while since we've done a shop tour and people have been asking for it a little bit lately on YouTube, so let's do it. So uh, here we are in my messy office with uh, crap everywhere, at least according to my wife, and uh, I'll take you through the shop. So right here we have a original paint, 1951 Merc. This will be an Icon Derelict, it's in line to be built. Thus far we've completed the chassis engineering. It's going to run four-wheel independent suspension with our buddies at Art Morrison. A Ford Racing Illuminator uh, 5 liter with a Whipple 2.9 twin screw supercharger. And then on the inside, this one's going to be kind of fun. Uh, the client said, well what about something along the lines of like a 1930s, 1940s steakhouse sort of speakeasy situation. So we're going to do tufted and quilted burgundy bison and then we're going to do quarter sawn white oak floors. I've never done hardwood floors in an interior but I'm looking forward to the challenge. We're going to get rid of that wannabe Von Dutch stuff on it. Otherwise we're going to maintain the exterior finishes. Here we have a really nice uh, FJ45 Icon. Uh, this truck is slightly used second hand and in stock right now. Um, really nice truck, nice opportunity, good discount. This truck's currently on YouTube as well. Here we have my 59 Mercedes 300D referred to as the Aldenauer. They call it the Aldenauer because the German Chancellor, the first German Chancellor, Mr. Aldenauer, was a big fan of the car and uh, he had a whole fleet of them. So on this beast, originally we were contacted by AMG division at Mercedes to do a derelict collaboration with them, which we were really excited about. But then they informed us that we were a little bit too disruptive and corporately it wasn't going to make sense because it was kind of too far off the paved road, so to speak. So they bailed on that concept. So it's kind of funny story though. I was complaining about the situation to a friend at GM. So now the Corvette team said, no worries, we'll partner with you. So we're going to take the uh, 2014 Corvette four-wheel independent chassis and powertrain and hide it underneath this bugger, which should really piss people off. But I love this car. Um, pillarless four-door long wheelbase with the Wobasto full-length sunroof. And these cars are really underappreciated. Um, they were sold when new right next to the Gullwings. And the Gullwings now are worth so much money that these just don't really get any respect. In fact, they often get parted out to support the gull wings. I don't know if you've ever seen these, but these are kind of cool. Um, we work with a guy back east, um, Christopher Holinsky with Manual Designs, and we've commissioned these of our FJ44, our Bronco, and our CJ, and they're hand-painted stencil art graphics that we're doing a limited series of. And, they're for sale on the Icon site at uh, icon4x4.com. Here we go into the main body of the shop. Here on the uh, first rack, we have the second Icon Defender project. This is a NAS 110, which is the long wheelbase version. Again, we worked with our buddies at Twisted in the UK to engineer upgraded axles, special large brakes, uh, really nice suspension, and then uh, here we have the GM E-Rod LS3 emission certified 430 horse V8, 4L85E automatic, Atlas 2 T case, uh, powder coated chassis uh, with extensive mods, uh, custom gas tank and tank fuel pump, and right now we're waiting on the body to come back from our supplier and catch up on that one. Here we have uh, the Bronco corner of the shop. Uh, we just delivered two done Broncos last week, so uh, not too much to show off here. This one's kind of a cool color though. Uh, we lifted this color from Scion. It's called Concrete, and in matte it has a really neat feel. And here it's kind of looking like primer, but it's not whatsoever. It has like a really cool surface sheen and metallic to it. So this one, the chassis has been built. Bodies paint cured, polyurea coated, interior panels and electrical are coming together, Dynamats layered on, next will come the wiring harness and we'll keep that party moving. 
This one's a little bit further along in the process and was the recipient of our new prototype electrical system that we designed with California Electric. So mill spec connectors, triple seal, waterproof, cross-link wire, fire retardant brain loom, um, all sorts of nifty details as we continue to evolve this model. I think this is Bronco number 12, 11. And right here we have number, I think, 14? So 15, and this is early in the phase where we've liberated the body from the original chassis and put it on a cart. And now we're going through it, rectifying the ills of age, TIG welding in our various fixtures to receive our upgrades to interior, dash, audio, trans tunnel, and the like. Here's its top and raw metal waiting. Here we have a Icon CJ3B. This is an aluminum bodied version running the VW TDI. Uh, it's gonna be a really cool one. Coming together, major hour eater. Here we have, hey Robert. Here we have a uh, FJ44. It's in the earliest stages. We're just kind of legging on it together right now, making sure all the CAD files get along. And swinging back around this way, if you're not seasick yet, this is the Icon D90 Land Rover Defender one-off. This truck's uh, just going through some final QC. Here we have uh, one of my favorite projects in the shop right now. This is a 1948 Buick Super convertible. This is the original paint on this car. It's in just magical condition. Kick-ass patina. We just finished the chassis engineering. Now we're doing the pre-fit phase, which involves running the new Art Morrison chassis, and in this case, a blown uh, intercooled dry sump. Cadillac CTSV LS9 V8, probably about 640 horse. Good fun. Body's being rust mortared and coated right now. We're interfacing the iPad Mini Retina and the dash. Here we have a 1950 Buick Super. Here we have another Dodge D200 Power Wagon. This time we're doing it with a Hemi powertrain. And then over here you see one of my employees' psychotherapy projects, a 30 Model A, next to uh, an FJ44 that's just approaching completion. And over here we have a 40, a 44 almost done, another 40 getting Lego together, and then uh, let's see what else do we have. Over here is our little limited machine shop and fab tool area. Uh, we sublet our laser, water jet, and CNC more complex form stuff. We do all the one-off stuff over there. Here in the TLC section of the shop, we have this lovely dead nuts stock with minor upgrades. 78 FJ40, we're just getting ready to deliver to a client. Then we have one of the Uber Rare Brazilian crew cabs. And over here we have a 97 FZJ80 with tremendous amount of modifications. There'll be a video on that soon. That's running a 430 horse GM E-Rod LS3. Icon Bronco, Icon Bronco, turbo diesel stage three FJ62, a 39 Nash, uh, another 78 FJ40, and the bare metal body for the Nash 110. Then right here we have our beloved Thriftmaster, client truck in for service, kind of boring. And then we have uh, another in the series of G wagons that uh, we've been doing some interesting retrofit and upgrades and getting rid of a lot of the plastic crap. So that's pretty much it. Thanks for being curious. See ya. And this is a cool little grand wag we did recently.